Hey guys, this is Paish from Bvm.com and Asus has launched its latest ZenBook 13 and ZenBook 14 laptop here in India. And well, this right here is the new Asus ZenBook 14. And this is one beautiful, crazy thin laptop with a lot of interesting features. So what are you waiting for? Let's take a look at the new ZenBook 14. Okay, so the ZenBooks have always been thin and light laptops, but the new ZenBook takes it to the whole new level. Just look at how compact this laptop is. You can easily hold it in one hand. I mean, the side profile is just 13.9 millimeters thick and the ZenBook 14 here weighs just 1.17 kgs. So yeah, this is a super portable laptop. And to think about it, even with the sleek design, the laptop has almost all the ports you need. On the left, you get these two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports and an HDMI port. On the right, you get a USB-A 3.2 port and a micro SD card reader. Now, as you must have noticed, there is one thing missing, the headphone jack. Yep, the new ZenBooks don't have it, but in the box, you do get a high-res certified USB-C to 3.5mm dongle, along with the USB-A to LAN connector. Anyway, coming to the design and build, like previous generation ZenBooks, you get the aluminium alloy lid, and there's the concentric circle design as well, and I think it looks pretty premium. I mean, this is a laptop that's all around classy, and I like the fact that you can open up the lid like this with a finger and you're presented with this beautiful display. This is a 14 inch IPS LCD full HD display and as you can see the bezels are narrow especially on the sides which does make the laptop look very very modern. See this gives the laptop a screen to body ratio of 90% which is awesome. As for the display it has 100% sRGB support and 300 nits of max brightness and as you can see it looks really good. I mean I've only briefly used the laptop but the display here looks top notch so far. Now on the top of the display, you can see this camera here, right? Well, it's not your usual webcam. The camera here has a four element lens and it's also an IR camera. This means that the camera here works with Windows Hello to let you unlock the ZenBook with your face. And in my usage, it has worked really well and really fast. Plus since it's IR, it works in the dark too. The webcam quality is pretty good too. I mean, I like the webcam position on the top and Asus claims to have added a new algorithm for better image quality. And I think the quality is definitely more sharper. Moving on to this, this edge to edge backlit keyboard. And edge to edge means that even though this laptop is super sleek, the keyboard here is not a compromise. I mean, the keyboard here has keys that are well spaced and these keys have a decent travel of 1.5 millimeters. So far, my time experience on this has been good, although the arrow keys are a bit too small for my liking. But other than that, I like that you get almost all of the important keys here, including dedicated keys for home, page up, page down and end. There are also very cool hotkeys here, which are very useful. As you can see, there are keys to turn off the webcam, bring up the screenshot tool just with a button and launch the My Asus app as well. Then there's the touchpad. As you can see from the icons, this is Asus's number pad 2.0 touchpad, which means I can just press this icon to bring up the number pad, which is handy because compact laptops don't have the num keys. As for the icon on the left, you can use this to toggle between two brightness levels or swipe from it to launch the calculator app quickly. Now, the number pad feature aside, I like the size of this touchpad and in my short time, it has been very smooth and responsive and there are no weird sounds. Alongside the touchpad, you also get these stickers, which is weirdly not aligned properly and this is a premium laptop. Yep, you'll hopefully remove these. Apart from that, you get two Harman Kardon certified speakers here at the bottom, but thanks to the design here, the sound doesn't really die down. I mean, it's not very loud, but the quality of these speakers is really good with good clarity. And I noticed a lot of depth in this. So you know what? I like the overall design and build of the new ZenBook laptops. And even though these are sleek and cool looking laptops, these are military grade certified laptops. So they should be pretty durable as well. Now let's talk under the hood spec. The new ZenBooks come in a Core i5 and an i7 variant. The variant we have features the 10 Gen Intel Core i7 processor built on the 10 nanometer process with Intel Iris graphics, coupled with up to 16 GB of LPDDR4X RAM and up to 1 TB of PCIe Gen 3 SSD. Now do note that the RAM here is soldered so you cannot increase the RAM manually. Also, you don't get a variant with the dedicated GPU, so that's something you should know. But for the people it's aimed at, this is a laptop with some very good specs. Okay, so I ran a few benchmark tests on the laptop and as you can see, the scores are pretty good and what you can expect from the iSlick Core i7 chipset. Plus, in my usage of the laptop, it's been very smooth and responsive, so things are positive. But yeah, it's still very early days. As for the software, there's Windows 10 Home on board with all of its features and there's the My Asus app with some really handy features. 
as you can see it has different options for battery health you can choose the fan profile from here set the color of the screen enable true to live video enhancement feature and more in this app you can also check out any driver updates contact customer support and link your phone to the laptop with the link to my asus feature this is pretty handy and it's a lot like windows 10's your phone app but with this you can send files across your pc and your phone share links make calls get all your phone notifications on your pc mirror your screen extend your screen and more lastly there's the battery the zenbook 14 comes with a 67 watt hour battery that's rated to last up to 22 hours which means even on intensive use the laptop should last you 8 to 10 hours you also get the 65 watt usb c charger which supports fast charging and takes the laptop to 60 percent in just 49 minutes apart from that the new zenbooks have most of the modern connectivity standards there's wi-fi 6 the latest Wi-Fi standard which is great for future proofing and there's Bluetooth 5.0 so connectivity is kind of covered. Well to conclude things the new Zenbook once again has the design and build as its highlight. I mean just look at the new Zenbook 14 it looks stunning and it's crazy thin and light. It's a fantastic feat of engineering plus it gets almost everything right ranging from the display the keyboard to the touchpad and the specs are high end. Now at the time of shooting this video we don't know the price of the new Zenbooks but I'm expecting it to be priced like the previous gen Zenbooks at say around 70-80k and at that price the new Zenbook could be a great option for people looking for a work laptop or students looking for a highly portable laptop. But what do you think of the new Zenbooks? Tell us in the comment section below also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friend who has been looking for a new sleek and beautiful looking laptop. Share this video with your friends and family. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.